Hello everyone, in this guide I'm going to be showing you all 150 points of interest in Rainbow Six Extraction and depending on what platform you play on, you're going to need all 150 of these or just 100 of these for a trophy or an achievement. I was playing on PC and there's three Ubisoft challenges tied to this. The first one here wanted me to interact with five different points of interest. There's then a challenge for interacting with 10 different discovery points as they're calling it there uh, in each region, but they're just the same points of interest. And then the third one there is to interact with 150 discovery points. So that's what this video covers today. But if we head over to PSN profiles, you can see that they're a little bit different. So you still get a trophy for interacting with a point of interest. You get another one for interacting with five points of interest in each region. And then the final one there is just for interacting with just 100 of them. This is the same on Xbox for the achievements as well. So you are only going to need 100 of these I'm about to show you today if you are playing on console. Okay, so before we do begin and show you all of these points of interest, there are some tips I want to tell you, and there is one main one that you do need to take note of, and that is that you've got to do this solo. If you're in a group of people, uh, the points of interest are not going to appear, and you may notice at the start, a point of interest appears with a magnifying glass. Uh, that's a symbol that will show. You interact with that, and there'll be a dialogue, and that's your point of interest. If you're with a group, that won't show, but if you're solo, it will, so it does have to be done solo. My best tip for this is to get someone leveled up that is good for solo incursions. I highly recommend Rook. Uh, I, I get him to 10 if you can, but anything like 6, 7 plus is going to be fine. And do it on the easiest difficulty. You can just run around the area, complete the objective, and then go back around the area, finding these points of interest using this video guide. And that's how you should be doing it. Um, it's going to be hard if you're going to be with a low level operator, though, and it'll probably take more time. So do get someone leveled up for this. Also, with how these areas work, there's like um, three areas per incursion, and they're never the same order. And some of the points of interest, they are locked inside the airlocks. So um, it's never going to be the same order for you. So how I'm going to do the format of this video guide is, for each area, we're going to show you all of the airlocks. And you'll know which airlock interlinks with which area, so you know where you need to be to get that point of interest, if that makes sense. It'll make more sense as we go. And then I'll show you area by area where all the other points of interest are. Are. so that's how we're going to do it today and then one last thing before we do get going please do hit like and share on this video to support it i'd really appreciate it hit subscribe for more content from me i'm covering rainbow six extraction and if you do want to watch more videos by me there is a link down in the video description to my playlist with all of my videos attached there so we're going to go through all of these in order we got new york city san francisco alaska and true for consequences starting with new york we're going to start at monolith gardens and there's 14 points of interest to find here five of which that will be found in the airlocks between the areas so this one here is found in the airlock between monolith spa and penthouse suites Trees are a natural purifier, and this airlock was designed to help it thrive. It also serves as a morale booster for React personnel. Two more could be found in the airlock between Monolith Spa and Monolith Tavern. We think the carapace is linked to the power system here, but it's not drawing any power. If you go MIA, stasis foam coats your body in a hard, impenetrable shell, giving React time to rescue you. And again, there's two more in the airlock between Penthouse Suites and Monolith Tavern. We aren't sure if this nest carapace skin is caused by maturation or if they are an entirely new type of nest. Standard NPC hazard suits provide adequate contamination resistance, but are not as robust as operator PPE. Three more points of interest can be found in the Monolith Spa area. We think some guests were trapped in here before the evacuation, but we didn't find remains. My sister and I were kids. She always said her creativity came from my mother. She was right. The 
Even though the plumbing test is clear, React protocol is to isolate the hotel from the city's water supply. You will find three points of interest in the penthouse suites area. Those spikes look like branches on a tree. Is it trying to imitate one? Many parasite structures that integrate human forms, but there is no human tissue inside. The spikes use a corrosive chemical and a physical component to dissolve and push through concrete. The last area of this incursion for me to cover is Monolith Tavern, and you're going to find three more points of interest here. built around the same time as the statue. I bet it shares some structural materials. shooting here just before the outbreak. We're investigating to see if it's related. By shattering the glass inwards, React reduces the threat of falling glass injuries on the ground. Sticking with New York and the next incursion we're going to do is Liberty Island. There are 12 points of interest to find here. Three of these are going to be in the airlocks between the areas, and two of them will be found in the airlock between the cafe and the museum. The nests are like DNA libraries, organic factories and booms all rolled into one. Nasty, but very cool. React scientists can use airlock labs like this one to acquire key data. Most of them leave as quickly as they came in. You'll then find another point of interest in the airlock between the museum and the warehouse. The Smasher has biochemistry similar to some coral polyps, creating its formidable armor. Moving on to the areas of this incursion, you're going to find two points of interest at the museum. You will find three points of interest in the warehouse area. Nothing left for us here. Head to the next sub zone. React provides secure sanitary facilities so researchers maximize time spent in the hot zone. to open an exhibit. NYC, Liberty Safe Harbor. Pretty ironic now. We averted disaster thanks to this crane truck preventing that pillar from falling. It's also a reminder that we'll be back to rebuild. And the final four points of interest for this incursion can be found in the cafe area. At the 
start, the spikes grew at a rate of 200 square feet per minute. Now they just seem to be gaining mass. One of the comms officers told me Lady Liberty souvenirs are worth a fortune now. Seems pretty ghoulish to me. I bet the people coming over looking for hope in a new land never expected any of this to happen. Some survivors hit out in the freezer during the outbreak. We got to them just before the Archies showed up. The final incursion for New York is Police Station and there are again 12 points of interest to find. Four of these can be found inside of airlocks, with the first two in the airlock between bullpen and holding cells. CLX-24 air filtration pumps are standard in our airlocks. The CDC also uses them in level 5 biohazard labs. Told, these aberrant nests make proteins and enzymes for the neoplasms. They're just nasty to me. There is one more in the airlock between holding cells and reception. The lurker controls its own chromatophores and that of others. The specialized skin cells can induce camouflage. And then one more point of interest is in the airlock between reception and bullpen. This very type sample receptacle can preserve tissue, mineral, and artifact samples for up to 96 hours. Moving on to each area of the incursion now, starting with holding cells, you're going to find two points of interest. Many react ground vehicles have Camelio paint that can disguise them as civilian vehicles. that car was actually moving when it was impaled. The driver didn't get out in time. Three points of interest can be found in the reception area. REACT has police reports of the K-9 unit barking incessantly before the parasite broke ground to cause havoc. City Hall was sure crime would rise during this crisis, but New Yorkers have really pulled together. We evacuated a six block radius around each hot zone. So far, the cordon's held, but the press wants in. And to finish off New York, we have three more points of interest in the bullpen area. archive is only a fraction compared to the size of data within my react database another bizarre biological manifestation there's some kind of high temperature fluid circulating inside the So New York is now finished and you would have found a total of 38 points of interest in New York. San Francisco has 36 and we're going to be starting off with Tenderloin which has 12 points of interest. 
as we have been doing so far, we'll start off with the airlocks between the areas. And there's going to be four in total that you're going to find in these. And there'll be two in the airlock between Punk Club and UFO Museum. We're exposing samples to different gas mixes. Maybe we'll learn where it comes from or what kills it. We're running that experiment in several airlocks. You should tell us how the parasite affects plant germination. You'll find another one in the airlock in between Tenderloin Alley and Punk Club. Every operator that goes MIA ends up in one of these structures. But so far it can't get through the stasis phone. And then another one can be found in the airlock between UFO Museum and Tenderloin Alley. Ultra tough, cut, burn, and chemical resistant membranes are integral to react containment strategy. Moving on to the areas of this incursion now, you're going to find two points of interest on the Punk Club area. We see sick carapace growth around singularities, but don't know if they're part of the phenomenon or simply attracted to it. Standard issue react chemical lights luminous in the visible, infrared, and ultraviolet spectrums. UFO Museum has four points of interest. We don't know where the meteor shard is now. Our best guess is that the carapace is absorbed in can plant organic mines similar in function to stun grenades. We have collected parasite samples from various objects and locations, but we are still analyzing where they originated from. Parasite is worse than any fictional alien we dreamed up. Tenderloin Alley has two points of interest. People tried to block the spread of the parasite as best they could. Unfortunately, some ended up boxing themselves in. and all the weird parasite stuff, we missed the big picture. People used to live here. Moving on to the Enterprise Space Foundation incursion now, and you can find 11 points of interest here. One can be found in the airlock between corporate offices and Hangar 1. These structures seem to refine and manufacture parasite nutrients right out of the air. Another is in an airlock between corporate offices and workshop. To protect rescued personnel, the extraction pod has a full medical suite and is armored like a tank. And another is in an airlock in between Hangar 1 and workshop. Something inside these neoplasms is either precious or fragile, hence the thick hard shell. You'll find three points of interest in the corporate offices area. Wow. Indus is picking up some major gravitational fluctuation coming from that structure. No 
all the hot zones, we find evidence of firefights and casualties, but hardly any remains. It's downright creepy. This company was trying to land a robot probe on the dark side of the moon to search for water. Another three points of interest are in the Hangar 1 area. They were building a probe to land a robot on the moon when the parasite attacked. I hope that's coincidence. Exotic materials were used to construct that rocket. One of them must have attracted the parasite. React makes efforts to be carbon neutral and energy independent. There are many ways of saving the world. And the last two points of interest can be found in the workshop area for this incursion. All equipment React analysts and operators might need is pre-staged on-site and biometrically locked cases. Satellite was scheduled to go up with next gen ground penetrating sensors. We sure could use it now. The final incursion of San Francisco is Apollo Casino and Resort, and it has 13 points of interest to find. Two of these can be found in the airlock between Casino and Security and Vault. Biofilm is much more than slimy goo, it moves, grows, and reacts to stimuli. Do not underestimate its threat. We didn't get to that scientist quickly enough. This is the price of our mission, and failure. There is another in the airlock between security and vault and top floor. Our key in subjects within 0 0.03 seconds and keeps them docile during transport. And another in the airlock between top floor and casino. Many airlocks are stocked with temperature resistant gear rated to 4,000 degrees Celsius. Moving on to each area, and you're going to find two points of interest on the security and vault area. You can head to the next subzone. Nothing left of interest here. The scientists abandoned these plant specimens to escape the Archeans. Hopefully some samples are still viable. The top floor area has three points of interest. I'm not sure what's scary. That it looks like a well-known piece of artwork, or that it contains three kinds of unidentifiable DNA. Oh, be careful with that. It contains a high explosive caustic payload, which utterly destroys parasite structures. This 
terrace was packed when the Archeans showed up. Evacuating must have been a nightmare. There are four points of interest in the casino area. Get to the extraction point. All emergency departments were deployed, but this was something beyond anything they've seen before. They didn't stand a chance. Savory stuff going on here. But since the infestation, none of that matters. It looks pretty calm out there. That's because we evacuated a six block radius around the hot zone. Appear their exposure to the parasite affects plant life as negatively as contact with human skin. We are now at the halfway point of this guide, so well done on getting this far. We're now going to be moving to Alaska, which has the most points of interest compared to other regions. There's going to be 41 in total to find. We're going to start with Eurydice Valley, and there's 14 points of interest here. One of these can be found in the airlock between Eurydice Farm and Eurydice Commons. airlocks wherever the best site is even an old-timey cooperage where they made wooden barrels you'll find two more in the airlock in between missile silo and Eurydice farm in this experiment we want to see if the parasite causes identical mutations in cloned plants Reactive blades combine monomolecular sharpness with a self-sterilizing biopsy needle for easy sample collection. And now going area by area, you're going to find three points of interest at Eurydice Commons. This whole place used to be a spiritual retreat before Orpheus took it over to support their lab in the silo. Aberration is inert and fossilized. Maybe it originated from the meteor that was discovered here. Missile Silo has four points of interest. Seems they were studying fossilized DNA they found in the Eurydice meteor, but stopped after the TRC outbreak. This silo is an ideal place to study cosmic rays. It's isolated and shielded against outside radiation.
What's a Cold War bunker without an abandoned train tunnel? GPS says it heads off towards the Orpheus research station. You'll find another four points of interest in Yoridis farm. This landscape looks so serene. Too bad Orpheus showed up and ruined it with their experiments. farm produced. That's a moonshine still. They think that spike large size is due to the farm's nutrient-rich soil. Or maybe it has something special in it. Body armor utilizes non-Newtonian fluid that is light and flexible, but hardens under impact. The next incursion is the Orpheus Research Center, and this again has 14 points of interest to find. You'll find one of these in the airlock in between employee quarters and observatory. To slow the spread of the Archeans, we install secure reactors throughout every hot zone. Another one can be found in the airlock in between mission control and employee quarters. The rooters underground root claws function as both a defense and to collect raw materials from the soil. And you'll find two more points of interest in the airlock in between observatory and mission control. The hot zone presents a unique infection risk. Injuries must be cleaned and dressed immediately. Replacement and additional construction supplies are positioned in at least one location inside the hot zone. Moving on to area by area now, and you're going to find two points of interest in the observatory area. Frame crashed. We can only roughly determine what they were looking at. The Oort Cloud past Pluto. I suggest we go to the extraction. You can get down to minus 60 degrees Celsius up here. You gotta dress warm to go outside. Three points of interest can be found in the mission control area. are ultra dense and heavy. We have no idea how they stay up. Orpheus is a huge tech company with interests in biotech, quantum computers, and high-speed satellite internet. that meteor was dug up in Antarctica, and the parasite isn't all over it. Interesting. And in the employee quarters area, you're going to find five points of interest.
This is aimed at the moon's dark phase transit. Someone was trying to see the moon's dark side. Trackers position themselves inside parasite nests. We get great data and you don't get messy. Apparently, this thing seeks different frequencies depending on the phase of the moon. stationed up here for five, six months. They would need all the entertainment they could get. Tracked vehicles are the only way to get around when winter hits. And if it's bad, even they get stuck. This now brings us to the final incursion of Alaska and it is Nome. There are 13 points of interest to find here. Starting with the airlock in between city docks and Nome cannery, you're going to find one point of interest. The grunt's the most common archaic unit, possibly because it takes the least resources to create. In the airlock between Gold Dredge and City Docks, you'll find two points of interest. This device injects high pressure stasis foam into the parasite substructure, blocking nutrient channels. They're testing to see if dialysis can clean parasite toxins from the blood. Looks promising. And in the airlock between Gnome Cannery and Gold Dredge, there is one more point of interest. Three D spatial algorithms help React Logistics pack all necessary equipment with thirty six percent less wasted space. Onto the areas now. I'm going to start with Gnome Cannery, where you're going to find two points of interest. Apparently, the ocean is no impediment to the parasite. We've got to assume it's moving along the bottom. In the gold dredge area, you'll find three points of interest. I'm told this old thing still works. Talk about robust engineering. Sometimes newer doesn't mean better. Those levers are over a hundred years old, and I bet still work. These military tents served as temporary labs until React finished building the airlocks. And then in the city docks area, you're going to find four points of interest. <laughs> Even though we can predict the parasite dormant cycle 85% of the time, it's not good enough. Ask those two scientists. This purification plant uses lasers to vaporize water under high pressure, filtering all impurities down to the subatomic level.
The flight plan says they were trying to escape the Orpheus site. Imagine the parasite going active at 25,000 feet. that the parasite is attracted to some minerals and metals but apparently gold is not one of them we are now on the final region, which is true for consequences, and you've only got 35 more points of interest to find. We're starting with Sierra County Hospital, and there's 14 points of interest to find here. You'll find one point of interest in the airlock between Biohazard Lab and Veterans Center. The Vet Center custodian won't need any of his tools anytime soon. Archie's taking care of the place now. There are two points of interest in the airlock between Hospital and Biohazard Lab. <gasps> this barrier reinforcement utilizes phase state metamaterials that resist both high shear and crush forces. Even in a secret lab set up under a containment zone. There's no escaping security checkpoints. And another point of interest can be found in the airlock between Veterans Center and Hospital. The Apex is the only Archean modal that can spawn other Archean units. The reasons for this are unclear. Moving on to the areas and starting with Hospital, you'll find three points of interest. Police tried to keep order, but there were just too many terrified sick people. This guy thought the doctors would see him sooner if he crashed in. Instead, he made things worse. The biohazard lab area has another three points of interests. Level 5 containment seemed like it would be enough. We never expected the parasite to come out of the ground. Streams of heat and pressure without leakage. It is secure even now. And then there's four points of interest to find in the Veterans Center area. Heavy steel gates probably did little to stop the parasite, but hopefully they slowed it enough for people to get to safety. I'm in awe of what those old timers accomplished without any of our high tech and advanced equipment. Redneck with a rifle thought he could make the pilot fly him out. Didn't work out that way. React uses ultraband microwave repeaters to maintain contact with operators at all times. 
Moving on to the next incursion in Truth or Consequences, we're going to go to downtown, and there's 12 points of interest to find here. One of these can be found in the airlock in between City Streets and Sierra Paradise Resort. The seismic station not only detects ultra-low frequencies, but can triangulate and cancel seismic events. Two more can be found in the airlock in between city streets and a trailer park. Parasite activity patterns seem dense around these arc spines. We're still analyzing if it's another parasite mutation. Even in the most severe hot zone, React cares about the environment. Please recycle whenever safe or possible. And another one can be found in the airlock in between Trailer Park and Sierra Paradise Resort. These next-gen recon drones are great, easier to drive, and the resolution is better than earlier versions. Moving on to the areas now, and you're going to find three points of interest on city streets. During the outbreak event, almost all inhabitants inside the city limits were infected. Over 6,000 people perished. All these Archeans crawling around give new meaning to Roach Motel. Carapass is so tough, almost nothing even dents it. You go into the ring with Carapass, the Carapass wins. Three more points of interest can be found on the trailer park area. With all the crazy conspiracy theories out there, no one predicted the parasite. The parasite generates a field that jams all weak signals, rendering some comms useless. Look up. See the point where the spikes merge? That's where Boyd's car is. And you'll find two more points of interest on the Sierra Paradise Resort area. factors that affect carpe size and shape. However, I don't think access to alcohol is one of them. <laughs> Lots of people try to ram their way out of a containment zone. It almost never works. You have now reached your final incursion. This is the last set of points of interest now. We're on the dam and there's only nine more to go. One of them can be found in an airlock between Boyd's Junkyard and Hacienda. Scan grenades emit a pulse of energy that makes Archeans actually resonate. Outlining them on your HUD. Another one is in an airlock between Military Camp and Boyd's Junkyard. The Tormentor can quickly travel both through the sprawl and a normal soil matrix. And the remaining seven points of interest can be found throughout the rest of the areas. Two of them are in the Military Camp area. Don't 
patients were evacuated quickly, but it came at a high cost for others. Sensors inside the capsule still send valuable data to react analysts. A further three can be found in the Boyd's junkyard area. Boyd underwent the first stages of parasite transformation right here. He was already past saving by then. Carapace. That's what years of growth at Ground Zero gets you. This is where an auto mechanic named Boyd brought the wrecked Soviet space capsule he found in the desert. And the final two out of the 150 points of interest in this collectible guide can be found in the Hacienda area. This well dates back to the 1600s. The rest of the Hacienda is relatively new, not only 150 years old. The lab guys say the wine should be okay since it's sealed airtight, but you won't catch me risking it. And that brings us to the end of this guide and every single one of the 150 discovery points or points of interest, whatever you want to call them. Again, you're only going to need 100 of them if you are on console. And I think there's more. I definitely saw one more while making this guide. I didn't include it because it would have been 151, but there's probably more throughout the levels as well. So if you have found more, good for you i have no idea how many there are in total but achievement wise or challenge wise trophy wise 150 is the maximum that you need that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share this everywhere you can uh, support by subscribing as well i've got loads more content on rainbow six extraction so if you want to check that out the link is down in the video description to the playlist we stream this game as well so be sure to subscribe for that and now we are done if you need people to play with come and check out our communities linked at the top of the video description thank you for watching this guide i do hope it's helped some people until next time thank you for watching stay safe and peace out mm -hmm.